The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty Gurman, a.k.a. Scooter McTwat Waffle, and alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the funniest gay dude that we know and love here on Laughing on the Sidelines, none other than Mr. J.P. Oh, that's me. Yeah, dude. I'm funny. You are funny. Funny queer. Yeah, kind of weird. That's yeah, right. It happens. I know. Uh, but also, we have the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, none other than the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. Doesn't seem like enough applause. No, you know? I think it kinda, like it's kind of weak. Louder. Yeah, it's it kind of weak. Yeah. So happy to be here, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's a fun time whenever we get together, right, Derek? Yeah. I have a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> on, Did he threaten to kick you off the show if you don't start saying nicer shit? <laughs> on the Laughing on the Sidelines <laughs> podcast. I've programmed it. It makes me so happy to be here. I could come. <laughs> oh man, that is happy. <laughs> right on. All right. Well, welcome into another episode of. I the- am not here <laughs> against my will <laughs> no, in no. any way, shape, or form. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay, uh, welcome in <laughs> to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Uh, we have an excellent show for you today. Uh, if this excellent show today, <laughs> yes, yeah, we are pumped. <laughs> we, are, we are pumped. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, if this is the very first time listening to a Laughing on the Sidelines podcast... Then you are a dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You need to listen more. <laughs> this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about... Lots of jokes. <laughs> ...the current <laughs> events that are going on in sports and uh, a lot of inappropriate jokes targeted towards me, and that's fine. This is also an adult... Real shithead over here. <laughs> Real piece of shit. <laughs> this is also an adult podcast where we like to... You know, use foul language and like piss fuck <laughs> <laughs> and offend a lot of people. So if that's not your thing in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Whoo shit. Well, we've uh, we've got a great episode for us uh, today, guys. We've got, uh, you know, some current events to talk about. Overrated, underrated. Would uh, I'm sorry. What would you do? Questions and preguntas, a draft and as always a shitty situation. But let's kick this thing off with our week, week recap of what's been happening to us over the last week or couple uh, Mr. JP, what have you been up to, dude? Man, crazy, right? Crazy. I actually have some shit to talk about. You <laughs> did something other than smoke like, pot yeah. and sit at home. Okay, I did smoke a lot of pot. Sure you did. I did go bowling. Uh-huh. Speaking of which, man, my new ball is fucking awesome. I I've shot that. two more 300s and a 296. Jesus. Fucking, I haven't shot eight yet because I always have one shit game because I'm just that good. Well, yeah. you're supposed to throw 10 frames anyway. I don't yeah. know why you'd shoot eight. Yeah, yeah right. Mm-hmm. 800. Mm-hmm. Like, as a series. You can only get 300. Yeah. So. But if you both three games then that, you can only get 300 each time right that's 900 yeah so oh, now 800 is a really good series yeah multiplying okay. man okay just drink your water man i'm, I'm working on it <laughs> jason <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you man uh but yeah so uh i went to a magic show last friday um straight I, straight magic show or gay magic show so i didn't there's know there's no such thing as a straight magic <laughs> show i did yeah <laughs> I didn't know anything about it. The a couple of buddies of mine were like, "Hey, we're going out to this magic show. Why don't you go with us? Whatever." So we get there, and Mary, uh, guy Mary or girl, girl Mary. Mary. Okay, 
she uh, I, I think it's I hang out with all I only hang out with straight people <laughs> okay. I don't hang out with any gay people I think it's the I, Mary from true. fuck Mary kill yeah I think it's that, it is, that one. It, is. Yeah. it is he was hanging with Mary fucking kill yep right? yep and so we get to this comedy show and we walk in and the venue is the flying pig have you guys knows where that you know where that is over by crown uptown no, no. idea right no. I didn't know either it is literally maybe the size of this this freaking studio you call this a studio or yeah. a basement that's studio dungeon oh, studio. i call it the dungeon <laughs> okay <laughs> where, you can tell where, by the chains that, on the wall yeah that's where we put the kids yeah. where i'm not being held against <laughs> my <laughs> will yeah, yeah. like the kids not at all <laughs> get back in there yeah so uh we get there we get a, we walk in this venue and i'm like dude this is gonna be a complete shit show yeah but i'm in for it <laughs> so i pay my 20 dollars because it's fucking 20 dollars. yeah which magic's not cheap it's not cheap not yeah cheap, man. so we sit down and within two minutes of sitting down the guy comes up on the microphone and he's like hey our caterer fell through but you can bring your own beer and there's a liquor store right down the street if you want to walk down there and get some alcohol and come back we're gonna we're gonna postpone the show for for 15 minutes so people can go get the dude 90% of the crowd gets up and we all walk down to the fucking liquor store together. It, it sat like 30, 40 people. So at least 30 people get up, all walk down the fucking Douglas to the fucking liquor store, all walk in at the same time. And the dude behind the counter is just like, his fucking eyes are huge. Like, what is going on? Did the fucking, did the fucking short bus just come by and drop all these fucking people off? What is up? So, I don't drink very often, but I was like, you know what? If I'm going to sit through this, but when you do, you make a when statement. I do, yeah. <laughs> so I got a lot of alcohol. Uh-huh. I think it was like eighty dollars is what I spent, Jesus and uh, it was for three of us. But oh, still, okay. that's a lot yeah. for me. And uh, proceeded to get pissed drunk. My and, three of us, uh, JP, means he was pregnant with twins. Right. The first guy gets up, and he's a local magician, and. He his show is like a local magician's. It sure fantastic. Exactly, it's excellent. Very good. Mm-hmm. And then the feature got up, and I, I didn't know it was Megan. Oh, it was Megan Welch. I didn't know I she did magic. Who I didn't I, she either. doesn't? She does comedy. Oh, she was just open. <laughs> well, that's for a the shitty magician. fucking magic show. So you go I, to see magic, and then there's a comedian. On it stage. was awesome. She's awesome. I love her to death. So it was really good to see her. It was mm-hmm. nice to get out of the house. And then the it was a mentalist turns out it wasn't a comedian it was a mental it wasn't a magician it was a mentalist oh and it was a trans dude or a girl or it was a trans girl oh okay that was his magic trick and he made his <laughs> penis Bam, I'm reappear a woman. <laughs> and he made his penis reappear oh i'm and sure it did no but it was a mentalist thing and i pro- i don't know to this day if he got everything wrong or she got everything wrong. See, I'm gay and I can't <laughs> like I can't I can't do it. Sorry. So I don't know if she got everything wrong on purpose so that it was funny or He's just a shitty mentalist. He's a <laughs> shitty fucking mentalist. <laughs> because <laughs> she got everything wrong, bro. Not like this or that. Everything was wrong, man. A mentally <laughs> retardist. Yes, yeah. a mentally retardist. And it, Dude, it was so much fun, man. It was so much fucking fun. It's one of the most fun things I've done in this in town for a long while. Do you think that maybe everybody in the crowd was just super shit faced drunk Dude, that they forgot everybody what they picked in there? Everybody head? in the crowd, whenever she came up to the stage, was like looking at each other, like, "What the <laughs> fuck just happened?" It was awesome, dude. It was it was amazing. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, but, uh, welcome to Kansas. And yeah, that's. I mean. That's about it, man. That's, that's, about, how, that's it. about it. That's, that's how so, it went. That sounds but, like uh, a fucking great time. Then we went over to my buddy's house and played cards and dice, and we were playing AC Doocy. You know that game? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. In yeah. between. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. In so between you get sheets. two cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, and then you lose your house. I, uh, right. So, dude, <laughs> at, one point, I had to go to, at one point, I had to get up and go to the ATM because mm-hmm. I ran out of cash. Holy mm-hmm. shit. There was $300 in the pot. I had a deuce and an ace. Your second ace is automatically high. Right. Okay. So I got the lowest card in my hand and the highest card. You can't lose. The only thing is, if you hit an ace or a deuce, you have to pay double. Oh. So I essentially lost $600 because <laughs> I flipped an ace. Oh, no. So I had to go to the ATM and get another $300, paid off my debt, and fucking had an extra 100 and I ended up winning it all back. Nice. But, dude... 
not cool. No, uh, not New not Year's cool. Eve we were playing. I lost eight hundred and sixty dollars. Jesus Christ! Yeah, bro. Fun. But so yeah, that was my weekend. Love and love to have you back there, JP. I'm glad to be back. We man. missed you, buddy. I missed you back. I'll tell you what, you can take over for me permanently. Yeah, it's okay. Mm, I mean, okay. I don't know if I could be that apathetic. Okay, you can. Yeah, I'm very pathetic. I think you're. You can be <laughs> just as pathetic. As I, me. I'll really try. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to put on about 82 pounds. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. You could eat everything and you wouldn't gain a pound. Me? Yeah. I look he, like a pregnant lady, bro. He, <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah. He, he bought alcohol for three. He's got twins. That's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll kick off my week. Um, allergies are kicking my ass. My Ooh, eyes are. Allergies. Yeah, my allergies are fucking killing me. That's why I'm wearing sunglasses. It's not because I want to try to look cool. It's because right. my. You bet. My no, eyes are puffy. To look cool, shit. you hung a snowboard on your fucking wall. Fucking dip. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. So go ahead. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm yeah. not doing this. No, you no, have no, to. You gotta, you you have give to. us your week, week. No, I'm What's not your going week, week? I can't on. do it with that. No. You can do it. No. I have faith shitty in you. quality. I think uh, I hear it just fine. Keep going. No, I'm not going to do that. Absolutely not. Well, we're going to listen to the whole we're song. We're going to go to the whole. You, <laughs> might, as well, <laughs> no. you might as well just Absolutely do it. not. This we do is not ridiculous. own the rights to this music. Go ahead. No, that's we what's We do not own the rights to this music. We have to cut it right now. We <laughs> yeah, have to cut it. Actually, you're supposed to. If you hear it in the background, they'll actually cut your episode and not uh, allow you to post it. Oh. Yeah. So Derek's <laughs> just going to sit here and keep on being annoying. So talk about your uh, week here. How'd your week go, Scotty? No. Nope. There. Nope. I'll fade it out a little bit. No, there you no. go. How was your week? No, no. No. <laughs> Shut it off. Shut the fuck off. I guarantee 30 people just were like, fuck this episode. Yeah, they're yeah, fast they're forwarding they're, this They're going to be doing this for at least another 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah Scotty being like, no. Anyways, uh, so yeah, allergies are kicking my ass, uh, but I did have a, a really good time. Uh, I actually spent way more money than I ever have on uh, one single golf club. Um, yeah, man. My bad, by the way. I yeah. apologize. Uh, so I told JP in confidence. Uh, no, man, you didn't. You I, just told I did. me. You I didn't just, say. I did. I did just tell you. I didn't tell right. you the, the yeah. don't don't tell my wife. Right. Um, but no, I actually went to a a professional who had like fit fit clubs for like Tiger Woods or. Hold on, man. Let me pull my dick out. I need yeah, to jerk off. It's fucking oh, that's crazy. hot. So oh, I, man. So I went and actually got a driver fitted for Dude, me specifically. you're so fucking cool. It was very expensive. Of course it was, man. Fuck. You're rich. I keep telling these people. They don't. You I'm fucking not, snowboard and golf. I'm you're not, rich. I'm not Jeremy Joseph rich. I'm just me well, rich. You're enough rich. Middle class. Middle class. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. Um, so I did that. And then uh, here in Kansas on Saturday, I got to go out and play with that very expensive golf club for the very first time. It was like 40 degrees and windier than shit. And I still went out and played, and it was very difficult to play golf. But on Sunday, I shot the best I've ever shot in my entire life. I shot an 82 uh, with many opportunities to improve that score. So I'm pretty I'm not sure if that's good. That. Uh, but yeah, Saturday sucked. The fucking wind was ridiculous. It it was awful. What? What? Why did you just cluck like a chicken? Uh, because that's a Derek reference. Oh, yeah, it's okay. a, it's called back from the previous mm -hmm. episode. My bad. That yeah. was before before the show got cool and had me on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, but yeah, so so I, I'm really pumped about that, and uh, and cool, then man. also congratulations. Oh, it gets Let worse. me be the first one to say, great, good for you for buying something new that you love, man. Absolutely. I'm not gonna shit on it like you shit on my bowling ball. I'm. I'm just gonna tell you, good <laughs> job, Scotty. Way to go, buddy. I can no longer talk shit on JP's bowling ball. His bowling ball is amazing. It's awesome, <laughs> and it smells like fruit punch. And it smells like fruit punch. And tomorrow I'm going to get fit for does a set your, of irons. Does your golf club smell like fruit punch? <laughs> Nope. Well, go fuck your golf club. Nope. Uh, but yeah, and then tomorrow I get to go fit for a brand new oh, set of irons. So, Callaways? No. No. I hope not. We'll you, see. We'll you see. need a bowling bong. You do. I'm telling you, we got to get bowling a hold pin, of Jeremy and fucking have him make me one. Bowling pin. I can get the pin if Jeremy agrees to help me make it. Oh, you should do it out of the ball. Just get an old ball and do it. Or the, that'd be harder to do. Yeah, it would be. Well, nothing. But is. nothing's impossible <laughs> if you put yeah. your mind to That's it. That's right where I was going. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was my mom said I could be whatever I wanted when I grow up. <laughs> 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 Fucking liar. Yeah. That's my week. Uh, well, how was your week there, Derek? Uh, I, don't, I can't play. I can't. There's. I don't know. Is there a song called "Fat Piece of Shit" that Lump. I can look up and let Lump you play? No. by Dead Presidents. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's. Fine. I won't be a bitch though. So if you want to play it, go ahead. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I did uh, a lot of baseball. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Um, so. Can I say you, you actually really did sound great. You you, you sound like it, it was full middle of the season kind of thing. You did oh, a great I job. I didn't think I did. I thought you did. I yeah. I I was better by Sunday, but yeah, those first few days I felt was rough. Um, I started watching a new show on Prime, which I am addicted Bro. to. It's the same Please one. Please say it. Jury duty. Oh, oh my I, god, I love it. <laughs> yeah. How did how did I not see this before, bro? Yeah. Tears, literal yeah. tears in it's, my eyes. Oh, it's so fucking awesome. It's fucking fantastic. It's so great. <laughs> if you have not seen this show, you are missing out. It is amazing. Yeah. Have we have you talked about it already? Uh, no. no. Okay. So basically, what the show is is you're not legally allowed to film like a, a jury. Um, so they made a fake trial with a fake judge, fake lawyers, fake bailiff, fake everything, and fake jurors, 11 of them, Dude. and one juror that doesn't know everything is fake. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and he, oh, it's amazing. He is the foreman, and everything crazy that you could think oh, of amazing, happens. Bro. It's fucking great. It's so good. I can't believe how many people they actually have. Like, everybody in that restaurant, yeah. when they were, Had everybody the was an actor. Yeah. Everyone, everybody at every table, dude. The the time and the fucking resources they put into this. Yes. Oh, <laughs> good on you. I've got two episodes oh. left, which I'm gonna try and get through tonight. There's the last two come, come out, out Friday. On Friday. Oh, okay, There's perfect. Two more. Well, come I've got out two more to go, but yeah. then the two on dude, Friday. The two that you haven't seen yet. Yeah. <sighs> well, don't fucking blow it. I've seen oh. none of them. I've got to wait till all of them to anything, come out man. so I, I can binge this shit. Yeah. Oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah. I told it. I told uh, JP told uh, told me about it like before we start recording the show, and I told my wife, I was like, "We gotta watch this. This sounds amazing." And she says, "I'm gonna hate it because probably of awkward humor. Apparently, it's, you probably will hate it. Oh fuck. I well, you are it. kind of a d bag, so thanks, jackass. No problem, man. Yeah, uh, but anyway, I mean, there's no snowboards in it, so fuck. well, there's two more episodes that come yeah. out. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> I think they play snowboard golf that on the final amazing. episode. Yeah, that'd Maybe be that was the murder weapon. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah. And he beat him with a driver <laughs> that was custom fit. Custom that he fitted by a pro. For by a pro. Used to fit the same gloves guy for, that fit Tiger Woods. Yeah. To death. Yeah, there you go. I'm not rich. I'm middle class. I, I had to read the weirdest ad for the, the baseball thing, too. Yeah. Uh, they asked me to come in. It's for Oatly. Uh, I, felt, I felt like I was reading an old scene. <laughs> Oatly, is that like... That's uh, no shit. It little, for, it's like Oakley's, but not. No, it's Oatly. <laughs> and it is for like a frozen oat meal. F- fucking weird. I don't know what is exactly... Is it frozen or is it cold oats? Because like, they, ha- they have they uh, have They have another one. It, my roommate does it. It's... Uh, I can't remember what it... Something oats, but it like you put the milk... Overnight oats. That's what it's uh. called. Overnight oats. You put milk on them, put them in the fridge, and then the next morning... You just eat it or what drink it. What the fuck it. is wrong with your roommate, dog? Oh, dude, we don't have that kind of time. Okay. Um, anyway. So I had to, they call and they're like, hey, we got this read from Major League Baseball. We have to do it. All the minor league teams have to do it. All major league teams have to do it. Um, it's a little hard because you got to keep up with it. And I'm like, okay, well, I can read, you know, I can talk fast. I can That's read fine. Fast. I can read on a third grade level for yeah, fuck's sake. Real cool. And uh, as long as there's nothing harder than the, yeah. he's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sound, sound it out. Sound so, it out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's Oatly, and I'm looking at it, and I have to kind of go along with the words as they're going on the screen because it's a video that plays, okay. and the text is on the video board, and I have to read, and it doesn't match. Like, it doesn't line up. So, like, it'll be like word, 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 what? word, word, word. So it's like this or something, something. Oatly, the official drink. From Sweden. <laughs> you, know, you just that, sound stupid. It's, oh, it sounds terrible as fuck. <laughs> it sounds dumb. It sounds horrid. And I, I read it. I bet uh, I spent 20 minutes trying to match. I got close, but it sounds awful. Yeah. So I had to do that. And then I had a comedy show on Saturday. How'd that go? Uh, I mean, it was his comedy show, so obviously so, it went great. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, basically, what I did was magic tricks the whole time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did, <laughs> did you dress like a chick? No. Well, then you didn't do it right. <laughs> so, uh, I was in Hutchinson at Memorial Hall. Oh, that's right. Um, that hmm. was like a 1957 high school auditorium. Nice. Uh, Perfect. I, I started my set off doing a commencement speech. <laughs> Because that's what because it reminded that's what it me reminded of. You. Yeah. yeah, people, so, people, did they get it? Did yeah, because I mentioned it. Yeah, they thought it was funny. Yeah, oh, good, good, so good. good for you. I, I actually did very well. Oh, uh, nice. 
There were there wasn't a huge crowd. There's only about fifty three. Um, Sometimes smaller crowds are even more fun. It mm-hmm. was. They yeah. had them spread out. It's the first time they'd ever put the comedy show on. The host I've cool. known for like twenty years. Uh, we used to freestyle rap back in the day. Like you Who do. Hosted? Yeah. Uh, Joe Wilk. Mm. Um, so oh, Joe he, the Nose. Yes. Yeah, he's a MMA fighter from here in Wichita. Yes. So I roasted the fuck out of Joe about the first <laughs> nice. three or four minutes. Uh, at one point, I said something along the lines of, uh, I know that he's probably, he's got a lot of friends that are here. Uh, I know Joe is a fighter. I said, um, so I got to be careful who I say, what I say. I don't want to piss the wrong person off, though I'm sure Joe would have my back. However, let's be honest, that guy probably hasn't won a fight since like 2009. Oh, shit. Uh, nice. And yeah. the, Good. the whole crowd got, that, that got a pretty big reaction. I'm sure it did. Um, but it was me, Joe, uh, Jeremy Rush and Steve Peters. Cool. Right on. And it was that would have been a good show. It was a really I would, good show. I would love to see uh, fucking Jeremy Rush and Steve Peters. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're fantastic. Yeah. They, Steve no. Peters made it? He did. It good was good for him. God damn, man. Yeah, he made it. It was <laughs> it was up and down. I'm sure it was. Like yeah. two days before the show, he's like, Hey, I can make it. I'm like, Well, I've got Bam on the show now. Well, I rearranged everything. I'm like, All right, well, let me talk to Bam. Uh oh. But So you, you you had Bam and then you let him go? Yeah, I well, I had Steve. Right, and then Steve but. canceled, so I had Bam. And then I didn't feel right not having Bam. And then Steve's like, "Well, I made re- I made arrangements." I'm like, "Well, fuck." Steve lives in so, California. Yeah. So Steve's out of here. So Steve Peters lives in California. He lives in yeah, California. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was since outside when? of L.A. He's uh, been there for about a about a year, I think. Uh, on and off, for really, about six months, yeah. six eight months. Yeah. So when he was here for the. He's just here every now and then, just yeah, to check here, on like the bar month, or whatever. Once, and, once or twice a month. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Oh. So, yeah, he I did not know LA that. Doing comedy out there. Wow, yeah. nice. Good for him. And that's it? Yeah, that was what I did. Cool. Well, watch Jury Duty. It yeah, sounds amazing. It Can't it wait to watch amazing. it. Um, but yeah, so that was our week, week recap between all three of us. And now we get to move on to the current events that we got going on in sports. But before we do that... I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, which is manscaped.com. They make excellent products to help keep your balls, dick, and asshole groomed. Their flagship product, the Lawnmower 4.0. That is a zero turn lawnmower to help you shave your nuts and not get cut. That's a very important thing. Beard trimmers will cut you up, right there, uh, JP? You know, I nair. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. I like it real smooth. Yep. Uh, but no, the Lawnmower 4.0, excellent product. It has an adjustable LED light, just in case you want to shave your nuts in the dark. Uh, braver than all of us. Uh, but they have a ton of other products, like the ball toner, which JP wears on this face. Oh, right here, right on the cheekbones, yeah, baby. Right. Oh, it gives, gives you a nice little tingle. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, ball I deodorant. I recommend it. Yep, ball deodorant as well to help keep your nuts smell nice and fresh instead of that from under cheese, especially now that it's starting to get warm outside. And other products. Uh, you can go to them at manscaped.com. Anything that you purchase, use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we are doing these commercials word for fucking word. There you go. All right. I got a new product for them. What do you got? Butthole breath mints. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. Yeah, that'd be Something good I can stick up there and it just melts as, you know, melts I'm away. And I'm surprised nobody's invented that yet. Me you know, too. just shove a fruit be roll us, up dude. up there and all of a sudden you, your fart smell like strawberries. Well, apparently you have not watched Shark Tank <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because that was an episode. <laughs> was it really? Mark Cuban's in. Okay, I'm sure he is. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, let's get on to the current events. Uh, we briefly talked about it. Uh, uh, obviously, Derek's going to be missing a lot uh, coming up in the next uh, several weeks because baseball season is underway. So what he's saying is the show's about to get a lot better, folks. That's Stay right. Tuned. That's, that's, right. that's damn right. No. Uh, that is, no. That's correct. Uh, that no, is, it does a great job. Yeah. does a great job out at uh, Riverfront Stadium for our minor league baseball team, the Wichita Wind Surge. And we had opening day, which was really cool. Uh, the, a lot of people know that have been listening to the show that if we got 25 comedians or friends of ours to go to the Wind Surge opening day, which it was an, it was a record-setting attendance uh, for opening day. 8,506. Yep. Uh, so it, we actually ful- fulfilled our promise, and so next week we have a very big announcement, and I will just give you a hint, and uh, Jeremy Joseph will be here uh, next week. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, JP didn't get a chance to make it, but... Yeah, um, I got sick, man. Yeah, Suck. but people that have been on the show, uh, Jeremy Rush, um, Dan the Man was there. Uh, people remember Yoga Matt. Yoga Matt actually showed up. It, so we had a nice group of people, and we had a really, really fun time at uh, at our minor league baseball team's game, and it, it was a lot of fun. 
Um, Derek, you did sound great, though. I got to give you credit. I thought you did fine, but you always beat the shit out of yourself whenever you do something that uh, mm-hmm. you're supposed to. Uh, but that's what you, that's what you do. You, I'm glad you're doing something that you love, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but moving on, I guess we got a little bit of sports that we can go over. First things first, uh, as of uh, at least when we're recording this episode, the Eagles and Jalen Hurts have reached an agreement on a five-year, $255 million contract extension, including $179.304 uh, million. Uh, that's guaranteed as per Adam Schefter. So he is now the highest paid player in NFL history. For like another year. Correctamundo. How much did Patrick Mahomes get? Uh, not that. Not that. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's all I know. Really? But do you think it's a good move or a bad move? Oh, it's a horrible move. Do you? Do you think so? Jalen Hurts isn't that good. I don't know. I, I he, think he's better he than... He reminds me of Tony Romo. I don't know. He's what's... good, but not good enough to win at all. I think he's definitely good enough. He took him to a Super Bowl last year. Jer- I don't or, uh, think he's good enough to win it. Derek always says, if you make it to a Super Bowl and lose, you have a shitty... Following season. Following season. If that does not happen, I'd say it's definitely worth it. My thing is, as I compare Jalen Hurts, I think he's a much, much more talented Lamar Jackson. And Lamar Jackson, whenever he had that MVP season, uh, people kind of figured him out. And I don't think, think he's Lamar that good. Jackson can read? <laughs> yeah. I don't. You don't? Mm-mm. You think he's up there with Money Mayweather? Yeah. Okay. All right. It, it could be a good deal. I think it is. Let's yeah, I think so. Hey, Siri, how much does John Cena make? <laughs> he makes eight and a half million, so, and he doesn't do stuff that's, he does scripted stuff, too. Yeah. So I think oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Here we go. Hurts is doing a fantastic Dude, I love you, man. I didn't know where you were going with it, but yeah. I'm glad you got there. Yeah, yeah I did. You. I did. Okay, All fair right. enough. God, such a buzzkill, you know that? Yeah. Um, but I guess we do have a little bit of time since there's not a lot of sports other than baseball going on. Um, we've got the NBA playoffs that have just commenced. The uh, mm-hmm. Just the other night, I saw a pretty funny video. There was a Sacramento Kings fan that was sitting directly behind the Golden State Warrior uh, GM, and he was <laughs> beating the shit out of that cowbell, just annoying the fuck out of him. <laughs> That's and awesome. It, just right behind the motherfucker and just beating it over and over and over again and just causing a ruckus. And you just saw the GM a do ruckus. exactly what you're supposed to do in that situation. Stare Punch sh- him. Nope. Stare. Poop your pants. St- yeah, poop your pants. That's exactly what he did. Stink he him shit, out. Shit his pants. <laughs> stink him out. <laughs> you got to stink him out. <laughs> eventually he stopped. No. You got to. He stared got no choice. straight ahead and acted like he didn't hear anything. He heard every bit of it. Oh, duh. God damn it. Would that piss you off? I, I mean... Would you? Okay, so you're not the GM. Do you turn around and punch that fucker in the face? If you're the GM, I just get them escorted out. Right. <laughs> well, he, it's in Sacramento. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you're in... Uh, you're in. You know, I mean, what do you do? There's nothing you can do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could. You could turn around and punch him in the face. Yeah, but why? Uh, could, you know, just get him to stop. He would... Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. is the GM? Anthony Rendon? I don't know. Uh... I am. I am surprised. This is the first time uh, Steve Kerr and the Warriors have been down two zero. Yeah, Sacramento looks. Uh, from what I've heard, I haven't watched a single game. I've heard they they're uh, a much improved team. They were supposed to be one of the worst teams in the league this year. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm, good so. for them. Spectacular. Um, but I guess uh, there was some other news in the NBA that I don't know a whole lot about. But Derek sure does. Apparently, there was a, a controversial thing that happened in the uh, Bulls and Raptors game. Yeah, DeMar DeRozan's daughter uh, really wanted to go to the game. He almost told her no, um, but decided to go ahead and let her come. Which he shouldn't have fucking done. And uh, Why? What's the deal with his daughter? Is this a thing? We'll find out. Well, uh, it got down to, I mean, it was a close game, and Toronto was shooting free throws. And his little girl let the most blood curdling screams every time Toronto. It was in Toronto. Was letting the most blood curdling sp- screams every time they shot. So it's dead quiet. And you hear this little girl just scream like she's getting murdered. And they that's missed. Awesome. They missed a shitload of free throws. Really, and that's lost awesome. The game. I heard it was fifty percent. Yeah, yeah, they missed a lot. They missed a lot. <laughs> and she. Uh, that's they, the whole point. You're supposed to distract. Them. Absolutely. Yeah, she ended up getting like death threats and shit over it. And she's well, then she did the, She did a good job. Then. She's yeah. nine. Excellent she's job. She's nine? Nine. Good job, girl. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is fucking awesome. Good for you. I fucking think it is. I think she is hilarious Dude, for that. Dude, that is Same. awesome. Same. 
I years. mean, it's no different. Everybody cheers on who is that? Arizona State that does that? The right, curtain of distraction. The curtain of distraction. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's at home, though. <laughs> that doesn't matter. You're still trying to distract the guy shooting the free throws. Dude, they that's did. awesome. I like it. I like it, too. I did that uh, at a Wichita State game once. Uh, years ago, when I first moved out here, my buddy... Uh, Screams like a nine-year-old girl? No, my buddy was a yell leader. I'll make you scream like a nine-year-old girl. <laughs> I bet you will. Uh-huh. Uh, my buddy uh, was a yell leader for them, and I got to sit in the student section, and it was dead quiet. <laughs> but, the look that JP gave me after you said that. He was. So, he mm. got... Uh, it got dead quiet. Weird. And then... WSU would be shooting free throws and pitch quiet, and you'd hear me go, miss it, at the top of my fucking lungs, and I was pissing a lot of people off. Were you? Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. That's not like you. No, no. I never do yeah. that. I'm not, I'm not one. I'm not heckle. Ask Albert I'm a, Pujol. Yeah. <laughs> he knows. You didn't. Did you like my TikTok I sent you? Which one? It was the one about Albert Pujols getting thrown out at first of the announcer. Oh, yeah, retarded. <laughs> he's retarded. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a shitty mentalist, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's the worst. <clears throat> the worst. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I, I really like her. I like her for doing that. I'm I a fan that, of that. Yeah. I'm a I, fan. Yeah, I think I'm you should. I'm good with it. That's funny. You should be able to do anything. That's These guys awesome. Make Especially millions of dollars. the fact that she's nine years old makes it fucking Ten times, times better. better. Ten yeah. times better. Come on. That's be better, awesome. Toronto. Jesus. Uh, moving on, next one, we've got DeMar. <laughs> Nine-year-old girl made you miss half your free throws. Yeah. That's fucking fantastic. <laughs> That's never the guys going, oh, and they're yeah, waving right. like fucking uh, the, inf- the balloons, balloons and shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's never that. It's no. just a nine-year-old girl going, ah! <laughs> That'll All do right. it. Moving on. Moving on. DeMar Hamlin is finally cleared by doctors to return to playing football for the Buffalo Bills in the upcoming season. Nope. Go get him, buddy. Go no way, do dude. I, dude, the dude died. He did. He died. Kind of. No, he died. Sort of. All the way. He's alive now. He was dead. But he wasn't. He's not now. He's right. He's, he's alive. But why would you ever want to do it again? Die. You go out with what, doing what you love, man. That's what you do. Oh, I remember when The Undertaker got buried alive. <laughs> <laughs> and he came out uh, that next week on dude. Monday Night Raw. And wow. Dead he, man He walking. rose again. He That's, did. He did. He's like Jesus. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, dude, I can understand I the seen, passion. Yeah. I've seen Chris Angel do some crazy shit. Yeah. Yeah. And he <laughs> He keeps doing it. He's died a couple times. Yeah. I get it, I guess, but man, I don't think I could do it. Uh, oh, come that's... on. Come on. If you're going to go Okay, out... man. If I, I fucking love bowling, man. Okay. I love to bowl. Yeah. But if I died while I was bowling and they were like, you know what? It was a fluke deal. It might not happen again. Just go ahead and try some more. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to take up something like fucking golf or fucking yeah, softball. Uh huh. Uh, it's, yeah, what if it's it was a, a random stabbing? Would you just be like, I'm never going into a bowling alley again. <laughs> again I got yeah. stabbed in one of them. Right. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. Why are you? What if you were stabbed while smoking pot and you almost <laughs> died? Would you smoke pot again? Okay, man. You made your point. There All you right, go. Very you. good. Good job. Good call. I think, I mean, and the other thing is, is, if you're doing something that you love and you can die doing the thing that you love, absolutely go for it, right? That's how you want to die. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, you survived monkeypox. You sure did. Good for you, by the way. <laughs> My people are very good at fighting off viruses. Yeah. Good for you we, guys, man. You're saviors to all of us. Yeah. I hope you know that. Yeah. We love you, JP. We love you, hey. JP. Yeah. Uh, next I one. Yeah. Next one, per Barstool Sports, uh, a couple of gamers had a political argument on a Discord account. And uh, then one of them hacked into the Pentagon and retrieved confidential files. That supported his argument. What? Yeah, it's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting crazy, man. Dude, we're all fucked. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're fucked. Not all of us. One of us has Canadian citizenship. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I, I man. don't, I don't think it's changing I could be your pool boy. Yeah, you could. I can't afford a pool, JP. It's okay. You don't have to have a pool. <laughs> you can be my kitty pool. Boy. <laughs> yeah. Just clean, just, just clean yeah. the scum clean the out of the bottom of yeah. it. Cool, man. Yeah. The inflatable one that just Derek puts out in the front you, yard. Yeah. Yeah. It's plastic. Please. I can't afford the inflatable. Oh, okay. Please right, take buddy. me with you. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Oh, this is What where is we, going on? This is where we get to the point of where it's like, 
Do you think we're in a simulation where somebody's just up there fucking with us? Yeah, man. So it's, well, I've been it's, on this show for like four years, and someone's yeah. definitely fucking with me. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the rich people, bro. They control everything. I'm sure they're out there I, fucking snowboarding, golfing, while we're all just sitting here. I just cannot imagine. I'm so pissed off in the middle of a political argument on Facebook or whatever the platform. That's where I go. You know what, motherfucker? I'll prove it to you, and then I'm gonna go hack into the fucking pen. Pentagon, where all of our secrets are. I mean, like, you had to go to support that argument. How about figure out who assassinated JFK or some shit? You and have is phones. Tom Cruise not an alien? Yeah, no you shit. Know, right? right? Yeah, that's a good yeah. thing. Let's look I need that to know shit who these people are. But no, I, get other files, motherfucker. Do it again and get more shit and let us know about it. Unreal. I, don't know. I yeah. can't believe that. That's, that's a, yeah. crazy. Fucking shit. He's probably in trouble. He probably is. He's, yeah. Oh, he's in deep trouble. Yeah. But what they'll do is they'll be like, look, man, mm-hmm. how'd you do it? If you tell us, we'll hire you. And it's then now there. he'll work for the fucking Pentagon. There you go. Now he's got a fucking, he's got a, the gig. That's right. That's how they hire That's those people. That's his audition. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's your audition. For real. He's and a then. Frank Abagnale. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Great movie, by the way. Uh, but no, that, that's exactly right. They're either hire you or put you in jail. You yeah, pick. You Which pick. one do you want? I'd choose jail. <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> I love jail. Yep. Uh, next one on the current events, or last one on the current events. Uh, there was a Super Mario Brothers movie that came out over this last uh, week or two. That's the guy that's... You told me you didn't tell me that's who it was that was boycotting it. Oh yeah, so there was a there was this fuck that guy. There is a new Super Mario Brothers movie that came out, and I've heard nothing but like really positive things about it. I've heard it's nothing about it's just about the game. Yeah, man, I've heard really good things about it as well. Uh huh. And and I guess uh, there is one particular actor that played Luigi in the original movie from back in the nineties. Actor is a very generous term. Touche. And he also calls himself a comedian. Does he really? Yeah. Uh, well, he's apparently, you have never seen the movie The Pest. That I have brilliant. seen it. Uh, okay. All right. John Leguizamo. Yeah. That's who gives a fuck what John Leguizamo <laughs> wants to fucking watch? Oh, wow. no. I was going to go see the movie, but John Leguizamo is saying don't do it. Exactly. Fuck uh, off. But yeah, apparently he's boycotting the new Mario Brothers movie because it wasn't inclusive enough and they didn't cast enough uh, Latinos uh, to be part of the you know movie aren't they italian about two italian yeah, fucking right. plumbers in a made-up world right starring chris pratt you know where we went wrong what's that we let the little mermaid be black <laughs> 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 now everybody wants in on it yeah, yeah i don't know a black girl that'll get her hair wet right. <laughs> oh, me neither wow. that's I true do not. that's Ouch. true Ouch. that's actually Ouch. true that's fucking dead true yeah uh, I just, it's gotten, it's getting ridiculous. Go see later. the fucking movie. I think it's actually great when movies do that. I think Maverick was an awesome movie, right? I like Mel this. Gibson. No, no, Maverick, Tom the Cruise. top, the second Top Gun. I oh. like, yeah, I liked how Tom Cruise Top Gun Two was is, is Maverick. We all know that fucker's crazy, but there was no yeah, was political bullshit, no, no religion bullshit, yeah. well, and there I wasn't anything it. that was like fucking huge red flags or no underlying political kind of a thing that they put in there as long as there's no trans people in there yeah exactly but and and, that's what caitlin jenner says you know that's right she's the clayton bixby of the (laughs) she is the clayton bixby (laughs) (laughs) from now on i'm calling her clayton bixby okay go for it clayton jenner clayton jenner (laughs) there you go uh, but now they Bruce have Bixby. they have the Super Brother or Super Mario Brothers uh, movie that came out, and there's nothing political about it, and the there's people pissed off that there's not an underlying like bigger story or some kind of activist bullshit, and I think that's great. I, I watch, think it's awesome. I watch a lot of movies, and I've never seen anything that I've never looked into anything far enough to think that there's a political undertone in anything. Oh, people wow. can find it in Ninja Turtles and all that. I'm like, oh, it's, yeah. it's a fucking movie, dude. Yeah. It's but it, but that's the thing. It's they do that shit on, on purpose. purpose. Bro. <laughs> that's I'm exactly not looking right. for that. I'm like, do I like the movie? Do I not like the movie? That's it. No, no, no. I, are you talking about they do it on purpose? Like the people do it on purpose, or like, the directors and writers? No, do it the people try to. Oh, on see, purpose. I'm the other way. Yeah. They always try to find I, something okay, to find that about. The directors and writers that do it on purpose. Goddamn liberal bug, fucking shit. For sure they do. Jesus fucking. For sure they do. I think I think it's both. Then I think I think that people. People was go out of their fucking way to sit there and go, oh, do you see the underlying That's part of part this? That's part of the problem of our That's society in general yeah. is people just read too much into everything. Yes. Just Bingo. enjoy your fucking life. Is, do you yeah. like the movie? Was it fucking enjoyable? Then fuck off. Yeah. If you didn't like it, who cares? Agreed. Tell 100% people you agreed. didn't like it, but don't tell them I One didn't like it because. 100%. Right. 
Yeah, one hundred percent agree. If you want to jerk off out in public, I say go for it. Mm-hmm. And I equally agree that it's like, why? Even if they didn't, you know, have these people on the cast, like, why do you fucking hate it? I mean, I totally agree. If you don't want to go see it, don't go fucking see it. Yeah. But at the same time, why are you making it such a big deal? The movie that you made about Mario Brothers fucking sucks. John Leguizamo. It was the that's worst who we're talking fucking about. movie ever. Does, I bet you ninety percent of the people that are fucking watching this right now or listening to this right now have no fucking idea who the dude even is. One hundred percent. But if you do have a spare like hour and a half of your life that you don't mind losing and never getting back watch go, the first one. watch the first one you will throw up in your mouth the entire time and actually if you make it for the first 30 through the first 30 minutes i'll give you a high five i need to go see air that's what i want to go see. that is the one to go see i don't know if i want to go see it in theaters though that and the new john wick i still uh, haven't seen that yet. I, i'm not a huge john wick fan i'll definitely watch it when i like it comes the out. john wick movies i've heard they're great but they are great I, I haven't seen any of them and, that, and that's on well, me i you love, can't say that you're not a big john wick fan i know i, I don't if like you haven't the, even seen it. I don't like the premise off. as much, but I think I probably would. And so, and I love Keanu Reeves, but I've heard not a bad thing one about Air. I've heard it's fucking awesome, awesome movie. Yeah, yeah, I haven't, even heard, I haven't yeah. heard. I haven't even heard of it. So it's, it's about, about the Jordans. Jordans. It's about the Air Jordans. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, I've heard yeah. it's fucking okay. phenomenal. But yeah. anyways. Well, that is the current events for this week. Uh, So now we get to have a little bit of fun. We're going to kick this thing off next with overrated or underrated. And from this point on, guys, if you guys have any suggestions for any of these upcoming segments, you can send your suggestions now to us on Twitter at L-O-T Sidelines. Or on Instagram at Laughing on the Sidelines. I'm monitoring Twitter pretty uh, pretty well now. So um, I've got a couple people that messaged me uh, uh, today and uh, reach out back to them. So thank you guys uh, for helping us grow there, just in case. Anyway, so we're going to kick this off with overrated or underrated first one. (laughs) Yeah. First one, overrated or underrated wheelchair ramps. Over-fucking-rated. Really? Yes. Why? Fucking get some talent. Go up the stairs with the fucking chair. No, dude. I think they're underrated. Why? Way underrated. Dude, have you not seen the guy like going like 60 miles an hour down and that ramp shoots him off like and does like a backflip and shit? Have you ever seen a guy in a wheelchair fall down six flights of stairs? Yes. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's one of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I pushed him, but. Absolutely. I think it's you both. You got to do what you got to I think it's way underrated because during the winter, you can spray it down with water <laughs> and then watch them try and get up. It's so much fun. Yeah, this is true. I think it's both. I think it's both overrated and underrated. I think underrated whenever you have like the X game sized ramps where they're doing cool shit off of it. I think that's awesome. But I also think it's overrated because, you know, some of those people are stubborn as shit and they want to get up the stairs without any help. And so fuck the people that need the ramp. That's what I think. Okay. All right. Uh, anyways, next one. Overrated or underrated? Abstaining from masturbating for 30 days. Not possible. <laughs> really? There's no fucking way that's possible. Oh, yeah, I can barely can. go 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so this is tough for you doing oh, the I show. Could, I guarantee I could not do 30 days. Oh, no way? No way. Man, imagine. Just imagine how big of a load you'd shoot to the ceiling. <laughs> Be a I fucking do like explosion. That, that. No, I do like that idea. See, it's like a buildup. It's just building pressure, building mm. pressure, building pressure. I think you no. guys are going to have a competition. No, <laughs> I, for distance. I win. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Are you kidding me? No, I say this is way overrated. Why do JP this? JP would be down there like that thing with a squirt gun at the fair, blowing a <laughs> balloon up. Just, <laughs> right. Oh, right. that's disgusting. Uh, no, I, I, I'd say this is way overrated. Don't do that to yourself. I'm in. Don't do that to yourself. I, it, it's got to be Yeah, bad. way overrated. Way overrated. Uh, anyway, did you say overrated, Derek? I said it's not possible. Oh, it's not yeah, possible. Okay, right. that's fair. That's a good answer. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated? Walking up in a complete strip. What? Oh, Wake, I'm sorry. I apologize. Up. There's no I, L. I even wrote these. In waking. My apologies. Overrated or underrated? Maybe it's because you have sunglasses on. It that is. could be it. Can't see. Uh, anyways, next one, overrated or underrated? Dun, 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 Fuck dun, you. Dun, dun. Waking up in a complete strange. I fucking hate you both. That's fine. I'm okay with it. <laughs> overrated or underrated? Waking up in a complete stranger's house, hungover and butt naked. Is the stranger hot? What do you mean? 
Like, can you honestly tell me? <laughs> of course it's fucking, well. See? Uh, yeah, it's tough. I still say it fucking underrated. Really? Yeah, man. Oh. You had to be. You had to have some kind of fun. I'm gonna say overrated. Okay, because I like being married, <laughs> <laughs> and I would not be anymore <laughs> if I did. This. <laughs> so no, <laughs> honey, listen to the show this week. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is way, way overrated. I think this is all bad no matter how you look at I it. I disagree. It's a gay thing, man. I, I really do think. I uh, think. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. It's or a, a single thing. thing. It could be a single thing. That may be it. Is I what think it is. it's more of a fucking less of a single thing and more of a cheating on your wife thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a we're married. You're not. Yeah. So I think that's probably what it is. All right. It's overrated. I'm in deep shit if that happens. And plus, I, I do not like waking up in strange places. It freaks me the fuck out. Oh, you were talking about wheelchair ramps earlier. Did I tell you I, I, I was surprised I didn't get kicked out of the Wichita Food and Booze page the other day? No. What'd you do? Oh, boy. Uh, well, there is a burger place in town, uh, in my opinion, is the best burger that I've ever eaten, uh, Buster's, Buster's Burger Joint. And uh, somebody had uh, they caught, they put something in Wichita Food and Booze and was like, hey, guys, this has been the busiest last three or four months we've ever had. Thank you so much. And uh somebody goes well you guys don't have a wheelchair ramp and i put i'd crawl for one of those burgers (laughs) 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 and and i'm still on the page oh man did you get like all kinds of hate no like five people laughed at it but in that page like if you say anything negative about a restaurant they're like oh you're out of here you could be like, I found a finger in my food. <laughs> and they're like, well, yeah, you should, you, you got to say nice stuff. It. Yeah. But Jeez. the fries were excellent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Teabagging your spouse. Uh, <laughs> teabagging your spouse? Uh, no, just teabagging you, my spouse. Your spouse yeah. Well, I'm going to say overrated. Because uh, she's going to clamp down on them motherfuckers, and I'll never get them back. Yeah. The 100%. I made her look in my asshole once. So I'm, she's not letting that near her. She no should be the one wearing sunglasses. She's like an, she's, she's like an animal now. Like, yeah. like, like a wild animal. Like, you got to let it come to you. Like, you can't you come can't to it come now. Because it. now it's all, like, timid and shit. You just got to kind of yeah, just let, that let it come it. to you. So, that yeah, would that do is, it. Uh, otherwise, they bite. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very well. Mm-hmm. Definitely overrated. This is such an overrated situation. And I have plenty of opportunity. My wife goes to bed at least an hour before I do every single night. So I have plenty of opportunity to do that. And if I did that, there is no fucking question in my mind. My wife is taking one of her hands and punching me directly in the fucking nuts if she wakes up to me doing that. I know a guy that likes that. I'm sure you do. I uh, but uh, Weird. Nope. So Overrated. She, so she'd punch herself in the mouth. <laughs> right. It just... Nope. That'll it, teach it, her. It, it would just, yeah. It'd be like a... It'd Quit be, hitting yourself. Quit, Quit hitting yourself. yourself. Quit she, hitting yourself. <laughs> it'd be like a counter punch from a boxer. She would just slip uh, right jab, yeah, just straight to my nuts. So, yeah, overrated. All right. JP? I'm fucking underrated, man. I'm you sure. Know me. Yeah, I I'm a teabagging son of a bitch. It makes uh, 100% uh, sense on that. And last one, overrated or underrated... Plus sized runway models. Uh, three things that should not be in the same sentence. <laughs> <laughs> plus size and run. <laughs> and, and plus model. size models. <laughs> so three words twice that don't go together. Uh, no. No. Not at all. I, th- I am plus size. Yeah. No. <laughs> One time I filled my blow up doll with water so it felt like I was fucking a fat girl. <laughs> That's awesome. Just one time. That's fantastic. <laughs> Vicky? Was it Vicky? No. No. Uh, no. It no. wasn't Vicky. Okay. Seal, the well. seal was intact when I left her here. <laughs> I don't know if it still is. Right. Oh, shit. Oh, this is so fucking overrated. I will tell you the only way to make it underrated is if you made the runway a weight limit and actually have it collapse upon itself if it reads or exceeds uh, like 200 pounds. After, over 200? That, yeah. Yeah, nah. yeah, 150 max, dog. 
That's well, it's my runway. It's my model that I'm looking at. I want it to do that. All right, man. Yeah. I mean, but if we're talking for everybody within reason, 200 pounds max. That, can okay. we go with that? Okay. So, yeah, overrated. JP? I say underrated. Why? Because, man, it's good to give kids a fucking positive fucking role model that's not a fucking Barbie doll. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah Keep man. eating food, you fat fuck. Yeah. Hopefully you don't die yeah. of a fucking cardiac shove infarction. Some more, shove some more of that Whataburger down your fucking throat. No shit. Yeah, I mean, population it, control, I get yeah, it. Right. I, I totally that's get the it. That's thing. Yeah. I guess that's a good point. Yeah, I like it. All right. Well, anyways, guys, that is overrated or underrated. Uh, now we get to move on to what would you do? I love some of these situations. JP, you're going to be uncomfortable on one of these. I know for sure. I'm never uncomfortable, Scotty. Maybe. All right. First one. Well, that one time. Yeah, that nah. one time. Yeah. All right. First one. Your best friend is in the middle of telling a group of total strangers your most embarrassing moment. What would you do? I would tell them about the time my friend Scotty printed off pictures uh, <laughs> to masturbate to whenever he was in middle school. I said your best friend. I'm not Oh, that. no, I know that. I would tell oh. them that, though. Oh, okay. Oh, you think that's bad? My friend Scotty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm pushing him over. I'm doing something drastic to get him to stop telling the story about me printing off pictures in order to masturbate when I was <laughs> in middle school. <laughs> here's the thing <laughs> i mean what would i do is just i'm the one probably telling the story in the first place <laughs> oh yeah you're like, telling i'm him. the one that told everybody i was balls deep in my boyfriend when my mom walked in the room <laughs> yeah, right i true. told that story <laughs> yes you did right i have no shame by the way everybody loved that story oh it was a fuck i loved that story it was a hit it was a great story yeah. and it was great when it happened <laughs> i i don't have any shame i don't have it like you can't don't want to talk me. about this jason you can't embarrass me <laughs> no you can't it's <laughs> Super tough. It would be. They'd be like, Scotty, you got all these pictures hung on your wall, but we don't have any tape. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's a mystery. Thanks, guys. <laughs> all right. Next one. <laughs> your massage therapist accidentally touches your asshole during a deep tissue massage. What do you do? Accidentally? Accidentally. Oh. Maybe. I pay for that. Oh, I'm sure you do. So if they didn't touch my asshole, I would be more like, what the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, okay. I like it when they lick it and then just they have one of those little fans and they oh God, blow. The That's Ooh. so bad. Oh, man. God, I Why? love it. I fucking love Why? it. Why? Why? It makes the hairs on my balls stand I'm up. I'm sure it does. Get yourself a manscaped uh, lawnmower to take care mm. of the hairs. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, have you ever seen somebody like squirm like a little bitch whenever they're getting tickled? That that would be what I would I would do. Immediate jerk reaction of get off the fucking table. That's what would happen if it were me. That's what I would do. Derek, okay. um, I would fart. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her that's the warning siren. Pink eye bitch. The yeah. <laughs> pink eye bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. Now you got pink eye. There's more where that came told from. told you not to lick that. <laughs> God damn. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, all right. Uh, next one. You are having intercourse with your spouse, and it turns out that her time of the month has just started or isn't quite over <laughs> yet. What would you do? <laughs> Wash <laughs> <it>. <laughs> 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 I'm not uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm just sick. <laughs> oh, wash my dick and go finish jury duty. <laughs> right there, you go. Oh, oh man. Uh, JP, you can insert some other situation in this particular one if it. Makes so one time, <laughs> my boyfriend <laughs> and I <laughs> were. Well, he had a pot of coffee before we fucked. <laughs> oh, God. And it looked like somebody threw a shit-filled water balloon in bed with us. So is that the same thing? Yeah, yep. sure. Okay. Huh. I'm not a fan. Oh my God. Not a fan. I guess I would. I guess I would hire somebody to clean it up. I mean, that's what I did. No. The neighbor kids, five yeah. bucks a piece. Yeah. Within they thirty minutes, the whole getting. place is clean. Oh fuck. Oh okay. man! Uh, uh, I I just kind of threw up in my mouth a little bit and laughed. It happens. That's okay. Uh, I I I guess this is 
Has this not happened to people before? Never to me. Never to I you? I just told you. I know. You, I, well, I'm sure your it situation. Has. Yeah, with this graphic as it, as it is, I believe you. No, that's fucking happened. This has happened to me before. It was in that situation to where it wasn't quite over yet, and I, I don't. I don't suggest to do that, but... Well, the first thing you do is take off the condom because she can't get pregnant now. <laughs> no. And then you raw dog the shit out of it I while you can. I, dude, I haven't used a condom in years. Um, oh, like several years. Butthole God itch. would never let you have kids. He's not that fucking he, cool. He, yeah, he's not that cool. Condoms make uh, his butthole itch. Yeah, exactly. Happened, yeah. yeah, and I fart. I totally get that. Fart, and it smells like latex. Yeah. Uh, but no, you go you go into the bathroom and take a shower. That's the best way to, okay. to, to get rid of right. yeah. You both. Probably, you both go yeah. to the bathroom and take oh. a shower and finish. And then you leave and never talk about it again. Okay. <sighs> there you go. Jeez. Next one. A naked crackhead with a fully erect penis is being chased by the cops heading in your direction. What do you do? Join him to create a diversion. <laughs> yeah, take off my clothes and start running the opposite way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean that's the, the only that's the only yeah. normal thing to do. Let's get a flash mob going. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that gives God. the guy an alibi. Hey, I was yeah. just part of the flash mob. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they think Derek was a transgender that hasn't fully committed yet. Oh fuck! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, no, I, I. Uh, okay, trip fine. him. You know what? Trip Cons- him. Nope. Consensus. All right, yeah. I'm joining in. Yeah. Let's. Well, might as well. Let's yeah, I, I help, agree. Help the crack hat, crack head out. Just get him to yeah, safety. Bro. All of three of us just get drop her pants, For take sure. a Viagra, and That's start it. running in four different directions. That's the way we do it. And okay. we meet up later and smoke crack. That's exactly yeah. right. He's well, right this, on him. On by him. The way. That's, yeah. that's, yeah, that's, our, that's yeah. our payment. Yep. That's yeah. exactly right. Whew. All right. Last one. Oh. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> a random number texts you a dick pic. There's a lot what? of penis in this one here, Scotty. Hmm? A lot of penises in these. Uh... Yeah, they are. Okay. But yeah, a random number texts you a dick pic. What would you do? Send them my address. I'm sure you would. The end. No, don't you guys send one back? No. No? No. Why not? Because I'll see it whenever he gets here, or oh. he'll see it when he gets there. Okay. Is that how you open the door? Just uh, right up against the screen with door? With my boner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that, that's I right. I open the door with my boner. Okay. Come on in. Okay. I, I, uh, I'm I sure there's tons of these online, so I'm downloading a whole bunch of them and just like flash sending and printing them sh- off. No. <laughs> printing no, them off. Way. Sticking them to the wall without tape. No. Yeah. Uh, we know what you're up to, man. No, I'm, I'm just sending back a whole bunch of them. I'm assuming that this person thinks it's a wrong number or maybe a girl gave this guy a number. Right. You know, something Either way, like that. I'm just happy to get the pick. Uh, yeah, or, or, I mean, just a whole bunch of them. And then at the very end, to say she gave you the wrong number, dog. Mm, right so, on. How about you, Derek? Uh, why are you texting my eight-year-old son's phone? Fuck, that's a good one. That is what I would respond. That's with. great. Yeah, I'm that's, going to the police. Yeah, uh-huh. and then that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that motherfucker would have their fo- their phone would be gone. Gone, absolutely. <laughs> they would be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's All right. Awesome. Well, that was what would you do again? If you guys have any suggestions, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or at Lot Sidelines on tic- or on uh, fucking Twitter. I apologize. Now we move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, first question this week: What is a phrase a woman says, and every time it is a blatant lie? I'm not in it for all the drama. Oh damn, that's a hundred percent correct. Also, gay people. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. I'm not in for all the drama. Mm. Lies. You are a hundred percent in it for the drama. Right. Because you're a woman mm-hmm. or a gay. It's what we do. Oh, shit. It's not 100% of the time, but I've had nightmares of this, and so I'm going to use it. And that is, Suck no. I did. No. <laughs> no, I'm on the pill. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, but that's not true. You, that's not a good answer because the question oh, is. I thought Scotty was on the pill for a minute. What <laughs> is a phrase? What is a phrase a woman says and Every time it's a blatant lie. I think you so have. That's a shitty answer. I think that you have to think this way, though. I think that you have. But that's to not think. the. That's the thing. I don't I, care unless answer. you know. Boo, unless boo, unless boo. you one hundred percent know that she is on the pill. If she just says it, don't buy that shit. Where right, I'm not. But that's not the question, rubber. man. I don't care. I'm changing it because I don't have you an don't, actual answer. Well, nobody likes you, man. Don't care. But that's the that's one cool. that you got to think. How about All you, right. Derek? 
Uh, go ahead and do what you want. Yeah. yeah see, there you go. That, Derek yeah. gets it. Yeah. <laughs> Every time it's a lie. Honey, I'm going to go play cards with my friends. Okay, we'll okay, go do what do you want. Do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I have a buddy that fucking came to play cards with us on his first anniversary, wedding anniversary. Oh, boy. Good for He's him. still married Good for some for reason, him. but he fucking did. I was like, <clears throat> are you fucking kidding me? Dude, the, this can't be true. I was like, is Joan here? He's like, no, nah, she's at home. Good for him. Wow. Good for yeah. him. Yeah. But now, now that you said that one, there's a whole bunch of them. Do you actually think that they don't know? what they want to eat whenever you ask them what they want to eat? No, of course they know. They yeah. fucking know. Like, what do you want, honey? Because ah, the first whatever. three things that you say, they're like, uh, yeah. I just had Mexican yesterday. And but she didn't. If that's what you want. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, dude, I know. That's why I don't fuck women. Hey, I can't. Hey, honey. I can't take it. Oh, no, here's another one. Hey, honey, what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, always a lie. Nothing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna yep. go ahead and, and believe what you just fucking said. No, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm. Fine. How about this one? I'm fine. How about this one? I'm a good driver. One hundred percent. Right. All right. Uh, next one. What would your occupation be if you followed your childhood dreams? Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'd be one hundred percent a professional dinosaur. Yep. <laughs> yep. The only one. <laughs> Batman. Batman's good. Fucking Batman. Mine. Are you fucking kidding me? I I'd got, be really rich, yeah. and I'd have all kinds of cool tools. I'd save everybody in the city and be a badass. Batman. I've got two. Okay. So when I was a kid, before I knew I was gay, it was police officer. <laughs> okay. I wanted to be a cop. To but the bat printer. after I found out. <laughs> <laughs> he said, to the bat printer. <laughs> to the bat printer. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, man. I, I had Fuck, to. we were all kids once. We all did stupid <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. All right, go ahead now. Go uh, ahead yeah. now, JP. <laughs> God damn it. I wanted to be a cop. You wanted to be I a cop? Young, yeah. And yeah. But then once after I found out I was gay and realized I was gay, I want to be the guy that cleans the loads mm -hmm. off the... At the I pornographic thought, theater. Okay. I thought you were going to say you wanted to be the village people cop. <laughs> well, <laughs> right. I I was there gay. you go. There I like that. Yeah, let's like that let's just too. go with that. Yeah. I want to be in the village people. <laughs> Oh, shit. Young man. Yeah. <laughs> JP would be great at that. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, what is a stereotype that is actually true 100% of the time? Women are shitty fucking drivers. Wow. Okay. Next. Oh, boy. He was right. really, man, he really got I'm into sorry, that I'm sorry. I have way oh. too much. I, I have way too much anecdotal evidence whenever I'm driving. Also and somebody does something Asians. stupid every, every single fucking also time. Also Asians, bro. Doesn't matter. Every Asians, time. too. And even if it's like a bad even if it's an old person, all of them. I know. Even if it's an old person, it's still an old lady who's a shitty driver. Hell yeah, that's what it is. Okay, that's why they live forever. Okay, there. Um, mm. All Italians know the art of capoeira. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Dance fighting. Yeah, and also all black people love the band Creed. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Big Scott Stapp fans. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. Okay. JP. I was gonna say that um, black people don't like to go camping. That's yeah, that's true. Uh, they I don't mean, like nature for the most part. It's not so much that it's that they don't have stereos out there to listen to Creed. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, and no point. Mm -hmm. Okay, I gotta tell a story, and I, I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but I don't care. My best friend. You want to talk amongst ourselves? No, don't. Yeah, we can. You're gonna appreciate the fucking story. story. Okay, go ahead. My best okay. friend, who just so happens to be a black guy, can't wait to hear it, man. Big Hope Creed it's a fan. good one. Twenty. He's, Big Creed his fan. twenty second year Doesn't old. Doesn't like to get his hair wet. Shut the fuck up. He's twenty. He turned his his twenty second birthday. It was over at his mom's house, and I am I think his only white friend, but it didn't matter. He invited me over for dinner, and so that many was his. He could pick, and he picked you. He picked me. And it was the funniest fucking thing in the entire world. I get over there, and he didn't tell me what we had. You know black people like white rich people. They do, and that's fine. But let me tell my fucking story without an yeah. interruption, you piece um, of shit. My bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, Gay I people like, always ooh, call interrupt me a piece of people. shit again like that. God. Oh, God. I liked Fuck. it. I liked it. Anyways, long story short, mm -hmm. I go up, I show up, and when I walk into the room and they're handing out food, naturally, it was fried chicken. And to drink, they had red Kool-Aid. And it was the funniest shit in the entire world. And I called him on it years later, and he thought it was funny as fuck. So, anyways, that's my story. Oh, man, that was a great story. I'm glad we got through that. It would have sounded a lot better if that I wouldn't have good. had one piece of shit interrupting me. 
Okay. Yeah, Derek. Yeah. You piece of Fucking shit. Fucking asshole. Jesus Christ. Quit breathing. Uh, next one. What's something weird to be allergic to? Mm. I have a vagina allergy. Do you really? Mm hmm. I break out in sweats and, and hives and hives mumps and, and shit. Mumps and yeah, yeah, it's not good. Yeah, it's not true. good at all. That's true. Uh, I actually, this is a real one. I've heard people are actually allergic to grass. Oh, yeah, I'm allergic to grass. Are you fucking real? Pollen. It's pollen. But yeah, I can't mow. Like, if I mow the yard, dude, my face will just be like a giant red. Well, I want I that fucking allergy. I fucking, fucking hate oh, mowing. No, bro. It's the worst uh, allergy. Yeah. Pollen counts. You think your allergies are bad right now? Mm-hmm. I wish I was allergic. If you're to allergic to pollen? Yeah. Oh, man. Your allergies are so bad because the pollen counts so high. So most people that don't normally even have allergies are feeling it now. Mm -hmm. So they're not used to it. But, dude, my I'm... I, just sit outside while while the neighbor mows the grass. Yeah, fucks me up. No shit. Yeah, it sucks. God damn. How about you, Derek? Circus peanuts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you have a circus peanut allergy, yeah. regular peanuts are fine. Mm -hmm. but, but a circus, circus peanut, peanut allergy. allergy. Like, you know, yeah, that's weird. And you have to every time you go to a restaurant, make sure there's no circus peanuts. You don't cook in with anything. circus yeah. peanuts, do you? Yeah. yeah. Hey, I, hey, I know Thai. There's there's a lot of circus peanut in Thai food. <laughs> you guys use circus <laughs> you peanut guys oil. Use circus peanut oil. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fucking great. Have them bring out a giant list of ingredients. Like, okay, so there's no circus peanuts So you're in here. saying there are no. Like, do you guys cook on the same surface right. where circus, where circus peanuts, peanuts have been? been? Before? <laughs> yeah. Like, no? Like, I can't okay. even have my food near a circus peanut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, and last question. What would the expansion MLB team in Utah be called? Yeah, they're talking about getting one. Yeah, they are. That's possible. I don't know if the A's are going to move there or not. But I tell you what, I am ready for the Storm and Mormons. <laughs> okay. I um, like it. Or the Salt Lake Sister Wives. Fuck yes. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just the Salt Lake polygamy or something like yeah. that. Utah polygamy. Yeah. I, I went with the uh, the Utah atheists. That's what I went with. Nice. Mm -hmm. I Ironic. went with uh, the Come Utah... Like Mormon Tabernacle Choir and Baseball Club. <laughs> <laughs> or that's my favorite. Or the Utah baseball team. There you go. That's true. <laughs> I like the either tabernacle. way. I like both. Uh, I don't think they can use that first one though because that's actually one of Jeremy's bands. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, it's, as it should be. Gets, can't do it. Yeah, uh, that's the Mormon team. Tabernacle Choir and <laughs> Baseball Club. Can't do it. Jeremy's band. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is Questions and Preguntas. Now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Um... I won last week. Wow. Had nothing but guests on, so nice. that's a technicality. Congratulations. But I'll take the W. I remember when I was really good at drafts back in the day. Nice. Not anymore. Uh, so that means that I get the championship picks this week. Uh, Derek is a seasoned vet, so he gets to pick second. And JP is the guest of honor. He gets to pick first. You always got to let the gay guy go first, man. Yeah, man. That's what, that's what you got to do. Yep. And uh, this week's draft is going to be our favorite 80s movies draft. This one's going to be fun. Those of you who were born in the 90s, you're missing the fuck out, dudes. Uh, and so, JP, what is going to be your first pick? Weird Science. It's a good pick, man. Love that movie. It's, it's fucking good Great pick. fucking movie. Yeah, and it was kind of a groundbreaking. If yeah, you know, it was. It was so. a great movie. Yeah. All right, Derek, your first pick. Back to the Future. Fuck, that was one I was hoping nice. was coming back. That's a good one. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, that is a good one. Uh, which one? The original. Okay. Can I take two? No, I'm kidding. Um, I am going to go with uh, secretly one of my favorite movies of all time, and that is going to be Die Hard. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. It's so sad to see Bruce Willis in bad shape. Ugh, it fucking sucks. Um, but... Another one of my all-time favorites that I don't really talk about very often, but I'm going to go with Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Great movie. God Excellent damn movie. it. 
<clears throat> That's got so many. Peterson. Oh, fuck that. George no. Peterson here. Uh, there's a line yeah, in that movie, movie that I think about Derek all the time. Derek has a lump of coal up his ass. In two weeks, he'd have a diamond. Yeah, it's so tight. That's what he says. Mm -hmm. All right, Derek, what's your next pick? Coming to America. Yeah, that's a good great one. Great movie. It's a great one. Yep, good pick. Okay. Coming to America? Mm -hmm. Or to coming? You. Okay. To you. All right. Damn it, I was trying to sneak that in there. Put a shitty movie on there. Uh, you, put, you did. You I, I know, I did. All right, JP, you get two. Uh, 16 Candles. Of course. Great fucking movie. Uh, okay. Well, you really don't like it? That's subjective. Oh, it's a great fucking I'm movie, I'm out. Man. I'm out, dog. Luck, duck, dog. Kidding me? I'm out, man. All right. Well, I'm out. Well, then I know it's a good pick. Okay. Uh, Labyrinth. Really? Mm. Love that movie. Dude, I thought that was fucking weird. My, love that my, fucking movie. My wife made me watch that. Oh, I love that oh, movie, man. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, uh, Derek, do you get one? Big. Dude, I'm impressed. That's a great movie. I love that movie. That's one of my favorites, too. Wow. The bigger the better, as far as I'm concerned, boys. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it. I, I really did like this movie, and uh, I think it's way underrated, and I think it was like a cult classic at first, but now it's even bigger, and that is The Breakfast Club. Oh. You son of a bitch. Sorry, dude. dude I had to do it. Dude, come on. You know it. I'm gay. I'm going to pick that. I don't care. I think right. it's a good flick, man. Go fuck yourself. Sorry. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. I have. I know one that I know a lot of that you guys are not going to pick, but I think it's one of my favorites. So I want to save that one for the end. And I think I'm going to get away with it because it's my... Oh, God damn it. Nope. Damn it. I was going to say it. it's just outside. It's a 90s. But I think this one. Fuck! They're both in the same year. Son of a bitch. I'll go ahead and take uh, the one I was waiting on, and I'm going to go with Stripes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, was that 70s? Uh, I don't was, think so. I think that was 80s. Uh, oh, uh, maybe you're right. Maybe it was 70s. It's I don't right. think so. 1981. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're good. Whew. Whew, that was right. that was close. Good one, good one. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, and you're a military buff. Go to go watch Stripes. It's fucking great. Uh, Derek, uh, the Karate Kid. Yeah, I knew you were going to take that one. I'm not a big fan. I, I love I, the first one. Oh, I, yeah, get, I, I get. I get. It's an illegal I kick to the watch, face. I still watch it every time it comes on. It's illegal. It's he shouldn't have won. He kicked him in the face. It's illegal. Come on, sweep the leg. I, I just I'm not my fan. Just not enjoy the movie, Scotty. Nope, nope. I'm going to fucking call it out. Uh, JP, you get your last two. Caddyshack. You motherfucker. That was the one. Fucking great there. movie. Uh, it, you know what? Did you Do you know a lot of shit about that was completely thrown together? It, yeah. it was so out of whack. The plot, even when you're watching the movie still to this day, it's like, yeah. this is hard to fucking follow. That's, That's because they had no idea what the fuck they were doing and just cramming shit together. Bill Murray saved that movie. Okay, so you got Caddyshack in your last pick. Tremors. Oh, wow. Wow. Love that fucking movie. Love those movies. Those really? movies are fucking great. Oh, my. Yeah. Okay. Derek. Go Kevin on. Bacon, man. God, man, I've got three, and i got to pick one of them. Yeah. But I'm going to pick my favorite movie ever. Okay. Bloodsport. Great movie. Damn it. That's great a good movie. one, yeah. Jean-Claude Van Damme. That is my favorite. Favorite great movie. movie it is great movie it is his favorite movie he's got like right a on. signed picture of uh nice. yeah Con was it kong lee and uh bolo young and jean claude van damme jean claude van Chong damme lee, yeah. mm -hmm. frank dukes frank dukes well son of a bitch boys i'm fucking running out because you took my back to the future not a i mean you got a whole bunch of ones that are kind of up there and that's like Ghostbusters, which I wasn't. I can't really, believe nobody said E.T. Uh, I'm not a big E.T. E. fan. And I know it's movie. like groundbreaking and stuff like that. the first that. movie I ever saw in the theater. Yeah, but I just, I'm not a not a I huge fan. Either, yeah, I just wasn't. But like Ghostbusters was another one and stuff like that. One. But I'm surprised. If, if Jeremy Joseph were here, it would have been picked. It would have been picked, but it's not. And I think that's probably the best one out of all of them and that is going to be the return of the jedi which is going to be I star wars i hate star wars love it 
Yeah, um, I, and I know, and I know, the Empire gay. Strikes Empire Strikes Back is another good one. Also but gay. Return of the Jedi is uh, is great. It's horrible. It's the best one. Please and, don't vote uh, for Scotty just yep. because of the, they'll do it. People yep. love Star Wars. I don't get it. Why? I hate it. You like six. I hate it too. You it's like really sixteen dumb. candles. You fucking right. weirdo. That's a good fucking movie. No, uh, but there was a whole bunch of other ones that that you had there, Derek. What would, what other ones you have? Ghostbusters was one of them. Yeah, I wasn't a fan. Great uh, ones. Gremlins good. Mm-hmm. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Oh fuck that! That Great is great outdoors. A good, uh, yeah, that's a good, good one too. One. Another one that I always have to stop and watch: Roadhouse. Which is weird. Yeah, I not my favorite. Fucking love I, he loves that movie, yeah, and I not my favorite. No, okay. I didn't think. How about Ghost? Anybody with big fan of Ghost? That was the nineties right? for sure. Was, was it nineties? Yeah, okay, like ninety one. Yeah, yeah. I was sure. on the cusp of my two favorite movies of all time, which is My Cousin Vinny, that's ninety two, and A Few Good Men, which is also ninety two. Yeah. Except for the porno, that was like in two thousand six. <laughs> yeah, could have took Batman. Batman. No, I wasn't a big Batman fan. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is not a, great a fan. One. Oh, I love that fucking movie. I, I, there's a whole bunch of cult yeah, ones that I really ton, love, but they're but, but 90s. Of fucking great 80s movies. But all of my favorite ones are in the 90s, yeah. so that's the next draft the we're going to do. The Golden Child. I like that one. Fuck yeah. Good one. I, I, Beverly Hills Cop. I, 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 Beverly I want Hills the Cop. knife. Fantastic. Yeah. But excellent picks all the way around. I'm very impressed with all of our lists, except for JP's. Uh, but you can go and vote now on Twitter at LOT Sidelines. I put that up every Wednesday right around noon. I totally forgot last week on Twitter. I apologize. It will be up there uh, again. If you are not already following us on Twitter, start doing that because that's where it looks like it's going to be going. Or you can go and vote at Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines by clicking on the corresponding emoji. Whoever has the most uh, gets a BJ from JP. There you go. Yeah. Right. That is Woo-hoo. a good prize. That's so, a twenty nine ninety five value. That's right. All of you guys, vote for Derek. All right. Uh, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Derek. What? Uh, it's brought to, to, to us you by, by, yeah, by right. you. What a shitty product. <laughs> no, I'm just Do kidding. not recommend. Two out of five stars. Do no. not recommend. No, uh, no. My mom was the only one that gave me the second star. Like, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> I love my son. Uh-huh. Two stars. Two, Two stars. stars. Yeah. That's right. No, actually, uh, I want to give a shout out to battlecordandcarepackages.com. I know they have their gala coming up soon. I want to give them a shout out every chance I get. Great people with a good cause. Um, they're uh, basically raising money to get to help out people with uh, pediatric cancer. It's very important to them, uh, and they've been awesome people throughout uh, the last uh, year that we've known each other. So look them up at battlecorncarepackages.com. They would really appreciate it, and so would we. Uh, all right. But this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather... Trip a blind guy while crossing the street or push a person in a wheelchair down the stairs. We're talking three flights, kids. Like a in a heave. In a heave. Yeah. 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 And uh, eh, fuck it. You know, the blind guy a, a couple times, maybe. Sure. Whatever. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. Just keep fucking with him while he's crossing the street. Yeah, in front of everyone. In front of everybody. We're talking New York traffic, folks. Mm -hmm. I want to do. I would do. I would do. I'll answer first, and I would trip the blind guy. Okay. I wouldn't just like stick my foot out in front of him or anything like that. I'd have a friend to help me, and I would do that thing where you get down behind him, and then the other guy pushes him. (laughs) That's how I would trip him. You should just get in front of him like that. Well, right. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Exactly. That's how I would do it. This is a different kind of shitty situation because the only thing that's shitty about it is what people will think of you for doing such a thing. Yeah, you're an asshole. You're an asshole. But it's funny. Yeah. And they're both funny. Yeah. And they're both funny. And if you don't have a sense of humor and you're blind or you're in a wheelchair, Grow the fuck up, motherfucker. This is funny. Uh, but I'm pushing that wheelchair kid down the flight of stairs. I'm doing Luke. I am pushing you down the fucking stairs in All front right. of your high school friends. We're and I don't and care. I don't care. You can play, you can play, you know, sled hockey the next couple of days. It's not like it's gonna hurt too bad. Could it's it not like you're gonna break a could leg. Could it be the wheelchair kid off glee? Because I'd push him down some fucking <laughs> stairs. Maybe. I don't okay, know. well, I still stick with my story. It's the blind guy. Okay, fine. And plus, I think Luke would think it was funny anyway. How about you, Derek? I'm gonna go with pushing the guy down the wheel down the stairs in the wheelchair. God, it'd be fucking funny. Um, 
one, yeah, I mean, half of his body might not feel it anyway. Exactly. And then uh, if you trip the blind guy, you might get bit by the dog. <laughs> that's so true. That you got to watch out for the dog. Yeah, I didn't think about the dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Call. So you got to think about the dog. Got to think about the dog. I still trip the blind guy. I, still, I don't want a dog bite. It, so. And it's not even that. You also got to think that he's kind of got like a really long lightsaber that he's going to beat the shit out of you with. He's got like his own like radar that he can fucking whip you with. Okay. I watched Daredevil once too. Yeah, those guys don't fuck around. Watching Daredevil is basically like falling down a flight of stairs in a wheelchair. <laughs> Some so. of those guys, if they can't see, I mean, they're like... Frank Dukes in Bloodsport got salt <laughs> thrown in his eyes. He can't see. And still defeated Chong Lee to win yeah. the Kumite. That's right. So yeah, I that's think... That's true. Spoiler alert. Yeah, fuck <laughs> yeah. you, Chong Lee. I... I I, I have to go with pushing the wheelchair guy. I don't want to right. run into a Frank Duke. Right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's, that's 100%. All right. Uh, but anyways, do we have any shows coming up, Derek? Not now. Not now? No. Nope. All of them are over? Yeah. You can go to uh, Riverfront Stadium and hear you announce uh, some you, baseball some games. Some baseball games. Yeah, yeah you can yeah. do that. Lots of those. Yeah. Send me $10 on Facebook and I'll give you a show. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Adam to Adam.com. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. Well, guys, I had a really good show with you guys. I love it when you guys can come out and do this. I know uh, I hear a lot of things from the listeners. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I wear my sunglasses. There he goes. He's getting in on the fun now. <laughs> the show's over so he can relax. That's right. I can do what I want to do. There you go. Uh, but no, thank you guys very much for coming out. I sincerely do appreciate it. Next week, we will have Jeremy Joseph and Mike Baldwin, if everything goes smoothly. And we have a big announcement. That'll so make sure you tune in show. to, uh, yeah, I hope so. That uh, So make sure you tune in because we got a big announcement that we're going to talk about on next week's episode. So tune in for that. We sincerely appreciate it. And guys, follow us on Twitter, which is laughing. I'm sorry, L-O-T sidelines. I apologize. At L-O-T sidelines on Twitter. And on, uh, you know, Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines. We sincerely do appreciate that. You guys, thank you guys so very much for helping us uh, spread our content. We're getting up to 400,000 followers nice. on TikTok, which is nice. pretty damn awesome. Are we there yet? Almost. Thousand, Fucking slackers. Thousand more people, Come motherfuckers. On, man. Let's go. And then we'll hit the millie, and then we'll then we'll talk about other stuff. Uh, but thank you guys so much. As we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you get beat to death by an angry mob of naked crackheads. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. If you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Bullying is not cool. <laughs> <laughs> until next time... Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. Fuck, Fuck you.